everybody, today we're gonna play Planet Zoo. Um, Hope Sanctuary, we're gonna achieve a gold star in the hard level. So stay tuned on how to do that. I will also tell you lots of tips and tricks, so you better pay attention. Um, Alright, so let's see what we have here. We got some objectives to achieve. Have that species, they have to be happy. They have a need to have a very, very high welfare level. Uh, 90%. And that's quite a challenge. Uh, but you don't have to really adopt all the animals because you're gonna get them for free. You just have to make couples of the lions and the tigers, which are already here, and the giraffe and the zebras, which are already here as well. First you have to get these lions and these tigers out of there. That enclosure is just a piece of junk, way too small. You can't get anything done there, so you just get the lions and the tiger out of there. Put them in the trade center and you'll just keep them for later. First you are going to expand the uh, savanna habitat with the tiger, um, I'm sorry, with the zebras and the, the giraffes. Later on we're going to put some more animals in here so make sure you include that pond in the end right there in the back. Then we're going to increase the chimpanzee habitat because that one is way too small as well and just make sure you just add lots and lots of enrichment items as they don't have any. And make sure you just add some of the um, water pumps uh, because the keepers don't have to come over to give the animals any water when you use them. They'll fill up themselves. You just don't have to pay attention to them and your animals will never be thirsty. So that's a good thing, right? So just always use those. Never use anything else but those. Also, when there's a pond, still include those water pumps. Talking about pumps, there is a pond, I mean. There is a, an issue with that. You have to get water filters in there because your animals will drink from the ponds or swim in it and they will get sick soon as your water uh, is not really clean anymore. These chimps need need a, a space to climb on so they need climbing frames so you just add some of them you got plenty of frames to choose from doesn't really matter which one you put in there it doesn't have to be pretty it just has to be efficient time scenarios is not about prettiness it's about being efficient so it could be ugly i don't care as long as you're gonna achieve all the objectives you're good because that's what these scenarios are all about Make sure you just get the terrain right, you get the plants right, you get the enrichment items right, and the um, the space as well. There are some issues with the chimpanzees. Uh, I think this tree is too close, so I'm just going to move it out a little. Uh, make sure you just use emergency capture as soon as animals escape, because the vets just take way too long to come over and capture the animals. All right, don't forget to put in the um, donation bins and just get a loan if you're short of money, which I was here. Get some extra feeders in there, get the, the, the huge shelter in there. Just select the giraffe and you're going to get that huge shelter. It's going to be big enough to, uh, to, be, to be enough for all the animals in this enclosure. All right, so here we're going to create a staff path and we're gonna add our staff buildings here along with a transformer for the power source and just pick the simple buildings the biggest are the best because you're gonna have you don't have to pay attention to um, to that anymore after all research building you really have to do research here because you have a, an education which you have to achieve an education objective so make sure you just cover that really um, there is some enclosure in the back of the park here uh, remove that one it's gonna get you some money and you just won't have to bother about the messages popping up about that enclosure having um, damaged barriers because you're not going to use it it's too far away make sure you put up uh, education boards and speakers for every animal that you have in this zoo, at least one. 
and um, by doing research your speakers and education boards will contain more information so the animals uh, I'm sorry the guests will get smarter the animals might get smarter too but the animals mostly profit from your education from your research by uh, getting more enrichment items, which is super important because otherwise there's no way you're gonna reach your 90% welfare Because that's huge Make sure you get a female lion because it's gonna be good for baby lions at some point All right now We're gonna build a habitat for our tiger The tiger is still alone, but that's okay. We're gonna get him a female after some point in time when there's one available which we can actually afford right now that's not the case so i'll just get the tiger in by himself these predators usually can go in there by themselves so it's no issue at all they're pretty solitary animals so don't forget the donation bins the habitat boards and the speakers again because they're super important when you don't have them you're not gonna achieve this time scenario at all and certainly not a gold star don't forget to hook up your education boards and your speakers um, there's already some uh, mechanic research done here so you don't have to bother about that in this scenario so you have your access to the one-way glass which is just perfect for lots of animals especially grazers all right we're gonna build a lion habitat right here in this corner on the other side of the park, it's close to uh, staff buildings and later on we're gonna have the hippos on the other side of this path. So just make sure you just uh, use non-climbing material here, uh, otherwise your lions will just climb over it. They're cats, so they're pretty... Uh, they like to climb. Get a path in there and in the back get a staff path where you're gonna add a water filter and a power source. Again, a transformer and just use transformers when you can because they have a much, much, much wider um, area they cover. First get one mill line in there, get his welfare level up. As soon as that one is up, you can just put that one in the trade center. You cannot get rid of them, but you can put it in the trade center. So you don't have to pay attention to that anymore. And I'll just put the, the couple of lines which you still have in here and just let them breed. So you're just gonna end up with this male lion in your trade center throughout the whole game. Which is okay as long as you get his welfare up. When you don't do that, it's gonna be an issue because you have to have that 90% welfare. So now the welfare is up and you just exchange it with the other lions. Preferably the one with the gold medal because that one is just better for your guest levels. Your guest numbers. Gold star animals just rank lots lots better than non metal animals, so you just have to pay attention to that. Don't forget about the ATMs. No ATMs means the guests just have the money they bring with them when they're leaving their homes. And they're not going to make you lots of money. And they'll start complaining about that too. Place some food shops in here. Drink and burgers and then add the green recycle bins because they will make you conservation points which you're going to use for getting some more animals in here like a female tiger which we still need to make our tiger couple complete all right and don't forget about the information centers as well because they will provide the guests with audio sets which will tell them more about the animals they're actually watching and that is good for your education level. Don't forget to place the benches in there. Guests like to sit down every now and then, take a rest, get their energy levels back up again. Just like you do. So now all the animals have had their research done. Except for one, but that's still going on. Um, make sure you train your staff every now and then, because that will get the research done way faster and their work done more efficiently so they won't get uh, tired as quickly as before and you don't have to hire too many staff to just um, manage your zoo 
Also, when you place toilet blocks, make sure you just get a price of like 30 to 50 cents on them. Otherwise, they're gonna make, make you lose money and that's not what you want. Okay, so you have to have these conservation boards. I always um, place them in a group of five as soon as I can. Um, then you group them and then you can just copy them and spread them throughout, throughout your zoo. So first get five with the top five um, topics and then make another group of five where you cover the lower five topics. There's ten topics in total so you're gonna have two groups of five conservation boards. And guests love to read them as you can see here. They're all stopping and reading what's actually on these boards. They're super important for your education level too. Just group them, copy them and spread them throughout the zoo. Like this. Okay, that should do one more. Just because we can and we have the space to do so. Okay, so our next animals are available. We're gonna have a lemur habitat right here, which is close to the staff buildings, which is super efficient because your staff won't have to run all the way through the zoo to go get their food. Make sure you, when you select the animals, you don't select the lion, because otherwise you're gonna have some predation issues and that's not gonna really work out for your uh, zoo rating. And I don't think the guests will like that too. Because then they're gonna watch dead animals and stuff and that's not something guests really love to see. Okay, so don't forget about the donation bins. As you can see, people are just gathering up. There's lots and lots of people in this zoo already, almost 2,000. So that's good. Get the terrain right, get some plants in here. Just some large trees will do. Just to make life easy. You don't have to make it pretty again. So just pick large trees. Get the price up as soon as they start complaining about it. It's always a good thing that they start complaining about uh, lower prices because that means we can make more money. So I already achieved one objective and that is the inspection report from the inspector. We passed that one with flying colors, so that's great. Get some animal talks in here just to make sure that you're going to have enough education because education is high in this scenario. Get two educators and that should be enough. If not, you can always add some more later on, but for now it will do. Okay, so we're gonna already anticipate on what is gonna come. We're gonna have some uh, elephants later on, both Indian and African elephants. So we're gonna have to make sure you're gonna have another path alongside this habitat because just the one in front is too small. Um, an animal talk on this path is not really an option, it's just too far away, so we're just gonna place two in front for the zebras and the giraffes. And we're just gonna see what we're gonna do with that later on when we actually have our elephants. They're not ready here yet. Maybe they are now. Yes, they are now. Okay, so we're just gonna place the elephants together with the zebras and the giraffes. Make sure you adjust the fence because there is a low fence here in front and it's just a wired fence and they will just walk through it. Make sure you just change it to an electric fence and you'll be good. Same with the glass, you just have to change that to an electric fence and get the fence up higher. Same with the wooden fence, you have to change it to brick walls because the elephants will just run straight through them. They don't really care. Okie dokie. Make sure you just have another transformer in the back here. Just to make sure that your elephants are not gonna be able to run out anyway because there's no power on the electric fence. And then make sure you're gonna add the enrichment items which are especially suitable for these elephants. Just get all of them in there and you should be good. There is some issues here, I don't know what. They're hungry, so we might as well hire another keeper or two to make sure that they're actually gonna be able to keep up, keep up with their work. We already have expanded our zoo quite a, uh, <coughs> quite much. So you just make sure that you keep up with the work that has to be done. 
in order to keep your welfare at 90%, you really have to pay attention all the time. Check the welfare levels of your animal and see that they're still happy and healthy. Make sure you just train your staff because you have to have to make sure that you're gonna uh, get as much out of them as possible. Hire your educators, hire some more mechanics, some more keepers, caretakers to keep the paths clean. And then we have forgotten to place education boards with speakers here for our elephants. So we're gonna place them as you can see right here. When you can't find a speaker because there's too many guests, just go to your education tab and you'll find the one that is not connected. So now we're gonna see if we can actually get an animal talk in here. It's not gonna be able to throw bath, uh, throw food into the habitat, so we're just gonna let it be and see what it does. Let's just get two animal talks here at the chimpanzees. Now just one for the chimpanzees, but later on there's gonna be a, another monkey species, which is gonna be the orang utan. And you will just add those to the chimpanzee habitat. Make sure you just add as much animals in one habitat as possible because that is just efficient. Don't forget to place animal talks at all the, um, the habitats. And there is some fighting going on with the lions and that's because I have too many lions in there. Because the baby lion which was born shortly before was already grown up. In the meantime, we got our female tiger, so we added that one to the rest, and the chimps having, are having some issues here. We're just gonna place another keeper's hut here so that we make sure that the keepers won't have to race around the zoo all the time. Just make sure that you get these paths as short as possible. There's some welfare issues with the zebras, and I don't know why it's injured, but what about the rest? The enrichment is still not high enough because there's no food enrichment. Make sure you just keep an eye on that. The reason that uh, there's n there was no food enrichment for the zebras yet was because there was the research wasn't done far enough. So now we unlocked the food enrichment for the zebras and that because of that you have to make sure that you're gonna actually get that stuff in there. We have one giraffe in here which is just a lonely lonely animal so we have one to make sure we get another one later on but for now we'll just keep that one solely in there because we don't have access to a male giraffe yet make sure you just get as much enrichment items in the um, chimpanzee habitat because they're monkeys and they get bored super super quickly for now their research is done so the we have access to all the enrichment items that are in there and let's just hope they keep up with that long enough. So, we have an older zebra. I want to get rid of that one at some point, but for now I'll just let it be. Get the food quality up, it just increases welfare um, in terms of nutrition. Now we got the hippos, which means we have to build a huge habitat because we're gonna have six hippos and they need lots and lots and lots of space you have this huge pond here make sure you just get a fence around it like super 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 big um, they need it all when you just cut off one corner of this uh, pond it's not going to be enough and they will start complaining about space issues it's always a pain to get the uh, the, the the gate in here but at some point you'll manage make sure you don't forget to put the water filter in there along with a transformer because the one you placed behind the lines is not going to reach far enough to get the water from the hippos clean. Get some shelters in there, food, water items, enrichment items which are already available, lots of them. An animal diet which was the older zebra I had before. Okay, continue on these enrichment items first so that the hippos are gonna be as happy as possible. And get their terrain adjusted a little to what they prefer. They like it a little less grassy, a little more soily and rocky. So we're just gonna take care of that. There we go, always green. The plants are fine, enrichment is fine, so they're, sh they're gonna be good for now. 
Okie dokie. Uh, the prices are too low, so we're going to increase them again. Make sure you keep up with the training of your staff. And we have to place the donation bins from for our hippos, because we haven't done that yet. Get your education boards and speakers going. And then you should be fine regarding the hippos. And an animal talk, of course. Because we have to make sure we're going to get our education level as high as possible. Make sure you keep up with your research. Make sure they're going to... Uh, all the all the animal species are going to be researched. Just get this education level up again. The issue with using electric fencing for your zebras is that they are pretty shy and they have then issues with the guests looking at them. So you have to place these silence boards to make the guests shut their mouths. In the meantime, we got our orang utans in here, so we're gonna add them to the chimpanzee habitat, as I said before. So the one animal talk that we haven't hooked up yet can be hooked up right now. Make sure you get all the enrichment and stuff going again. Apparently we need some more climbing stuff, so we're gonna get that done. Again, it doesn't have to be pretty. This just looks, looks like something I'm not supposed to say. <laughs> get the terrain right, get some more shelters in there and then at the same time keep an eye on that climbing area because they just need lots of it. They need more hard shelters so we're just gonna get it like this and that should be enough for now. The range enrichment is still good so we don't have to pay attention to that anymore for now. There's still some welfare issues going on with these elephants here. In the meantime, we have some monkey issues because they keep climbing out of their habitat all the time. We're just gonna replace, relocate these shelters for now. The elephants were having some space issues, so we're just gonna add a little, little, little tiny corner to our habitat and that is enough. Make sure you're gonna get another shelter in here because apparently they have a little, little lock, lack from hard shelter and there is an orangutan having issues here it's locked up by one of the shelters so we're just gonna get rid of the shelter and just take the chance um, well it's welfare is back to 94% and again so it's gonna be fine for now in the meantime we got our male giraffe so we're gonna bring that one to the zoo and hope they're gonna make babies and this female giraffe is already quite old so I hope She's not gonna die on us before she actually, before we actually um, achieved our gold star. But we'll see. It's not like we can do much about that. The monkeys are having issues with their food quality, and I don't know why because they already have great three food and they have enrichment items issues as well. So I'm just gonna add more. I know it's not really gonna do much, but. I just want to take the chance. I don't know what to do with that, so... Alright, we're gonna have grizzlies here. That's gonna be the last animal species in this scenario. Get them a little habitat right here. They don't need much, so... This size is big enough. Get the gate in there. Get the fence up a little higher, otherwise we're gonna climb over it. And get them in there. In the meantime... You're just gonna... Um, Put all the items in their habitat and get them happy. And that was already it. Gold Star Hope Sanctuary. Thanks for watching.